Yo everyone, Dan Central here, and welcome to just a quick announcement. Basically, tonight at 8pm UK time, so in roughly a couple of hours time, I'm going to be hosting my very own live stream. I've not done one for a long time, at least not one that I've hosted anyway, so I thought it'd be great to do one um, just to see how it goes really. And it's going to be on the infamous system, the Philips CDI. Now, a lot of people don't really think much of it, they don't regard it at all as a good system, a lot of people haven't played it but wouldn't mind having a go um, and there's also a lot of people that are really enthusiastic about it. There are some that just wouldn't want to try it but a lot of people I've noticed are very quick to say something before actually having the chance to play the games themselves and I've actually had a few people funnily enough play a few of the hidden gems on the system that are very good and actually change their opinion in the process. So if you've ever had a soft spot for the system, if you've ever fancied playing one but never had, if you ever fancy getting some more information on it and just seeing you know what it could have been and getting some history on it as well and looking at some of the games that are on the system and what Philips tried to achieve at the time then tune in tonight at 8 p.m uk time on google plus hangouts i'm going to be going through some of my collection which is very extensive so i've only got a few of the games here at the moment i'm going to be going through some of the infamous games such as the link and zelda games which are renowned for being absolutely horrendous and even so that Nintendo actually are too embarrassed nowadays to actually admit that they created these games. I'm going to be going for some of the better games though, such as Burn Cycle and, and games such as Little Devil. I'm also going to be going through how some of the more well-known games looked on the, on the Philips CDI in terms of when they were ported over, such as Micro Machines, how that port works from the Sega Mega Drive um, and the SNES and the NES, and also how games that were board games like battleships also play on the system and also games like pinball as well. I'm also going to be going through some of the planned sequels that were meant to be released at the time but were unfortunately at the last minute cancelled, one of which was just at the last minute saved just from being absolutely destroyed forever by being thrown in a skip. Someone one day managed to notice right before we threw a load of stuff away that it was at the bottom of a box, the prototype of a finished sequel and actually saved it right last minute and therefore made it available online and we can now play it to this day if we want to. But it was that close to being destroyed forever. So things like that I'm going to be going through. It's going to be really, really good stuff. And guys, we're going to go through lots more as well. I'm going to be looking at some gameplay as well, um, seeing how it all goes. Um, and I just want to invite you guys to come on board, not, not just as comments underneath, but jump on board. You know, even if you don't like the system, um, still jump on you know because I, I, I accept views from both you know both um, for the system and against it you know come on board guys if you're interested it's going to be really 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 good show I'm hoping it's going to play out really well um, I just want as many of you to get on board as possible it's a different kind of show it's not it's not your average kind of live stream that you get if someone does a retro gaming live stream the first thing they, that comes to their head to do is not normally the Philips CDI. So for me, I want to be a bit more unique and I want to talk about some stuff that maybe a lot of other people haven't covered before. Finally, guys, I want to talk about the music as well that the CDI games um, have. A lot of it is absolutely fantastic. For example, at least in my opinion, the Link and Zelda games, the music is absolutely brilliant, but the games themselves are awful. So I'll be going through some of the soundtracks, some of which you can actually get commercially as part of the CDs themselves others you can't and yet I've still been able to get hold of thanks to some really good people that I know um, and also I've also got a project going at the minute on my YouTube channel um, and my, my one of my brother from another mother's YouTube channel Shock16 we're doing a new mini YouTube series at the moment called the CDI Experience where I play through a load of CDI games with Shock16 and capture his genuine first ever reaction to the games on camera. First episode's gone up already on Zelda The Wand of Gamelon and the second episode is currently being filmed and will be up in due course. So guys do check that out as well, um, the first episode and the second one when it goes up and that's on my channel youtube.com slash dancentral and shock16's channel as well youtube.com slash shocks16. And before I, before I end, as well, just, just remembered to mention as well, I've also got two sources on Facebook um, that I'm updating frequently with pictures of my soundtracks that I've managed to obtain, uh, my model of CDIs that I own and my collections. Um, one's a light page and one's a Facebook group. The light page is the Philip CDI Realm, R-E-A-L-M, and the group is Philip CDI Appreciation Group. There's not a lot of Philip CDI groups or pages even on Facebook in general, so you'll probably find that mine's, mine come up straight away. Please do check those out as well. I will be updating those as regularly as I can. Uh, other than that, join me tonight on Google Plus Hangouts, UK time, 8pm. And we'll be looking at the Philips CDI in more detail. See you there.